All right, let's go ahead and check out this new ROM for the Nexus 7, the Android Open Source Illusion Project, AOISP. And it's got, basically just says it's um, made to be stable and it does have some extra customization. I'm going to go ahead and go into recovery and install this ROM. First, let's go ahead and wipe the Dalvik system in, or data and cache. Now let's go into the install. Install the AOISP. All right, and it is finished installing the ROM. Let's go ahead, uh, we've got to flash an extra zip um, that is in the thread as well supposed to fix the camera so it's done installing that and the lastly let's go ahead and install um, open gaps from I believe opengaps.org and this is for Android 7.0 all right now let's go ahead and reboot into the ROM look at the wrong. Alright, it has finished booting up and it is going to, through the setup screen. I'm just going to go ahead and set this thing up and we'll get going with the review on the ROM. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this ROM. And starting out with the home screen launcher, it's nothing new. Uh, this is probably reusing an older uh, launcher, but if you wanted a an updated launcher such as Pixel Launcher or whatever, you can sideload that. Um, as you can see that this ROM does come with SuperSU, so you don't have to flash that separately. And the these are really only apps that come with it. Um, all I flashed was the Google Apps package, which is wit which is what installed the Play Store and that's these are about the only stock apps so it's really light doesn't have uh, too much bogging it down or whatever and as you can see from pulling down the status bar you can see the new tiles layout in Android 7.0 this is just a this is actually a standard thing you can see how they reorder themselves as you pull them down but uh, in addition to this ROM, you do have the ability to edit each of these tiles and move them around or uh, remove them. This is something that is not in stock Android 7.0. So that is a different feature. Now let's go ahead and go into the system settings. Alright, so you can see that at the top it has the suggestions which is also a standard feature to Android 7 and as well as the pullout bar which is also new in Android 7 so you can sort of quickly switch between settings now everything here is going to be just the normal uh, standard settings for the wireless networks and the device with display uh, sound apps, storage, battery, um, memory, all these other standard options. Let's go ahead and go into the about tablet real quick and you can see that this is AOSIP, Android Open Source Illusion Project and we can also check the um, Easter egg. So I guess if you just hold it down it's supposed to show a cat yeah, shows a cat down here. They didn't do anything too interesting this time. So, here's just the basic information about the ROM. Let's go ahead and look into what else they have in the settings. So, what is different with this ROM is mainly these AOSIP settings in the Owl's Nest. And whenever you click on that, it has a few categories, such as status bar, quick settings, nav bar, 
hardware buttons, recent setting, recent screen, lock screen, advanced UI, and super sue. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at some of these. Some of these aren't complete. All these settings are not complete yet. I'd assume that this will be added in the future. For example, if you move over to the battery section or icons or even extras, it does not have anything in those areas at the moment. But it does have the clock style. You can move the position of it, uh, AM or PM, show the date, date style, and things like that, date format. And you can see at the top, it shows the Tuesday, September 20th. And now, let's go ahead and go into quick settings. Now, the quick settings are the tiles down here, and you can change the animation style. It's whenever you long press, it rotates. It rotates the, the buttons whenever you press on it can see sort of a rotation so this is just setting that animation you could have it to none or flip or rotate you can just see there's a short little animation on the icon but it has the quick pull down option for the right where you can just swipe from the top and it just pulls it down all the way instead of normally just opening up halfway so if you do it from the right you can open it up all the way now Let's go into the navbar options. There's actually none here at the moment, so I'm assuming that this will be added in the future. Hardware buttons. This is for the power menu. When you long press on the power button, you can enable screenshots, screen recording, airplane mode, flashlight, which actually the Nexus 7 doesn't have a flashlight, so that's not going to work. Uh, settings shortcut, device lockdown, search, voice search, and sound panel. So now if I press the power button, there's a lot of options. Alright, let's go ahead and go into the volume button options. So you can do volume uh, rocker to wake, playback control option, um, volume key cursor control, to move up and down a cursor that's interesting so if you turn volume key cursor control on then you can go into for example for example a play store and any edit text box if you typed in for then you can go ahead and use the volume up or volume down and it actually moves the cursor along the text so it's easier to navigate that little t cursor bar that can be sort of hard to to modify or move and then there's also the reorientate uh, for the volume controls to swap it when it's rotated which isn't really necessary now let's go into the recent screen and you can see that there is Omni Switch, which is not working at the moment. It, so it looks like the Omni Switch, or the Omni Recents, does not actually work. So you'll have to disable that, or just not use it at all. And you'll have to use the default Recents uh, section. And if you go into the Stock Recents settings, you can see there's one setting for immersive recents. Um, so right now, if you didn't have that set, you you can see that the status bar is on top, and the nav bar controls are shown. But if we go ahead and change it to full screen, and then do it, you can see that the nav bar is gone as well as the status bar. And now let's go into lock screen. There are a few lock screen options for example show lock screen clock you could disable that or disable the date or disable the power menu from the lock screen so if you were in the lock screen and you hold, hold down on the power button it wouldn't show it and then you can also modify the lock screen shortcuts you just tap one of the icons and choose what app 
to do. Let's go into the advanced UI. There are a few options here. System animations. You can modify really a bunch of animations. The open animation, we could change that to grow in from the bottom. Alright, so there's a bunch of animations and then there's also a power menu animation which is separate from those animation settings. So we could say, for example, to rotate and if you push the power button, the power button um, dialog rotates as it enters. Also, toast animation, which is the pop-up that comes in. So you could change it from fast fade to nylon. Or slide right to left, or whatever you wanted. And also list view animations, which is something that's a um, pretty old option in, in custom ROMs, which is pretty neat. Um, we could have a wave from the left. And now if you, you can go back, so for example, here you can see that this uses a list view. And you can see the animation that occurs as you scroll. It sort of waves in. We've got the gesture options which which aren't implemented yet. And then finally there's the Super Sue options which goes to just the Super Sue app which is just the root manager. And those are all the settings. The, the only thing that I can really tell um, this is pretty similar to Lollipop. There's not too many uh, differences but there obviously are some noticeable differences and improvements. And one of these features that are new in Android 7.0 is the multiple windows. And now this is something that has been on some ROMs uh, but not many. So here you can see what I did was hold down the the recents button. You just hold it down and then it pulls up two screens and then here you can choose the second app for example the Play Store and then you have the Play Store on the bottom and settings on the top and if you do it this way it does the same type of thing and then in the middle you can resize the window another new thing in Android 7 is that you can actually you can actually double tap the recents button and it switches between apps without actually choosing the app. So there's some small features like that. There's UI improvements and things like that. But the main thing I wanted to focus on is the actual ROM itself, the customiz customizations that are actually in the A. O I S P ROM. And so a lot of the Android N features are going to be standard across all ROMs. And I'll probably be doing another ROM video on this this device um, for Android 7.0. Probably the Pure Nexus once that gets updated a little bit more. And whenever CyanogenMod 14 comes out, I'll be probably doing a review on that as well. So thank you all for watching. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe. And uh, take a look at my other videos if you want.